you alluded earlier to the fact that you did not have one of those. No. And I have never met a woman that did. Okay, that's curious. But every man I know has. Have you ever seen this book? Hola, soy Meg, soy de Estados Unidos, pero llevo más de cuatro años viviendo en España. En este canal hablo de las cosas triviales, pero significativas, que nos unen entre fronteras. Si te gusta la idea y quieres ver más vídeos míos sugeridos por YouTube, suscríbete al canal. Pues en este vídeo, como os de esperar, vamos a hablar de algo bastante trivial. Es que hace unos días estuve en casa de mi hermano y vi un libro así de chiquitito y le dije, pero hermano, ¿qué, qué es eso? Y me dice, ah, pues ese es un libro que yo creo que todos los hombres que conozco, todos mis amigos, al menos tienen. Ah, sí, como que todos lo tenéis. Me da, no sé si es un regalo de nuestros padres o si ha aparecido un día. Y me ha parecido bastante curioso, no sé si le podemos creer completamente o si nos está tomando el pelo. Así que hoy quería preguntarle algunas cosas más y llevaros conmigo e investigar la situación. Bueno, vamos para allá. So we're here with my brother to talk about the pocket ref book that I found at his home last week. And I got a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. So, brother, as well, you should. Yeah, it's a. I mean, this is a 542-page book, so there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, there certainly is. I'm interested to know what Spain has to say on this. Yeah, we want to see in the comments. Have you ever seen this book before, guys? This is something that you. I suspect that there's maybe older, thicker, and have more information in it. Uh -huh. And it just came to me. I have I have had two of them. Mm -hmm. One of them is mysteriously missing since the time that we decided to make this video, um, which I find to be. That is interesting. I do find. I it didn't to be steal that it. One. I promise. That one. No, I do want one, and I want my own. And I wonder why I have never been given one of these books because do you think dad gave you the first copy i i don't actually Grandpa? know it just appeared i don't remember when in my life it appeared but it did actually appear on my bookshelf at some point so jer has been saying some things about the pocket ref book and sometimes he will exaggerate so i wanted to get your take on this because um, i think you're pretty level-headed dad have you ever seen this book before i have yes 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 in what context I do not remember when or where, and I may have given Jer that book. I cannot remember. Do you think your dad had one? Oh, my dad had one. Yes, yes. You're sure? Yes, yes. Oh, do you think his dad gave it to him? You know, his dad was an Italian coal miner. Yeah, I don't know that they have it in Italian. I did research that they do have the pocket ref in Spanish. I have another theory, which is that Um, you, you alluded earlier to the fact that you did not have one of those. No. And I have never met a woman that did. Okay, that's curious. But every man I know has. Specifically, those who enjoy Star Wars. Every? Every man. I, there are a few who, here and there... The non-Star Wars the, fans. But I, I suspect that either, as you said, they're not Star Wars fans, or it is equally possible that... Um, they got one and forgot about it. I first noticed this many years ago when um, my friend was over here. He's kind of a, a macho man, Jamie. And, mm. and, and he came over, he noticed mine and he was like, I can't believe you have one of those. And, mm -hmm. and acted as though only a manly man would have it. And, and, <laughs> and that was when I was like, well, where did you get yours? He yeah, didn't he know. He didn't either. know. But he had three of them at the time. Uh, Mom, I have a question for you today. Yes. I want to know if you have ever seen the Pocket Ref book. No, I have not. No? No. Are you sure? I'm positive. I mean, I might need to know the PSI of when a piece of oak wood would break on me. Maybe I'm making a rocking chair. Why there are whole, whole sections in there about DOS. You gonna tell me there are no female programmers? Yeah. Or, you know, women that use circular power hand saws and need to know which one to pick up at the store. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, Dad, if this is such a useful book and you think you may have given one to Jer, how come I never got one? That's a good question. You just never expressed any interest in when I would be fixing things you didn't really want to watch. I see. Of course, Jer didn't that much either. Um, but now I know what to get you for Christmas. It's soft. Have you asked any of your friends about whether they have any of those books or not? I haven't, but I will. I think that would be a very good direction. To you know, learn. I feel like this needs further research. So after I'm, this, we will investigate. We'll I'm do some calls. Positive, it does. Have you seen this book? 
Pocket Ref, por Thomas J. Glover. Jamás. No, 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 no. ¿Os gusta Star Wars? A mí sí. ¿A ti sí? A mí no. A ti no. <laughs> okay. Does it actually fit? Oh, does this one fit in my pocket? Oh my God. It does. It's too perfect. I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to seem like this video is sponsored, but it is not. I <laughs> <laughs> I, I do construction and all of that, and I, somebody told me about it. Oh, my last position. There's there's uh, a couple of them floating around our, like, cubicles. Is that your I don't have a personal one, but I've seen them. Um, okay, this one I think is probably my favorite section of the book, mm -hmm. just because it, it's so out of the blue and I had no idea. Anniversary. Okay, what's well, his anniversary names? But anyway, so this is basically the number of years you've been together, and then mm -hmm. there's like a traditional present, mm -hmm. I guess, you know, mm -hmm. that historically has been what you would get that person yes, for like the number the of years. And then, and then yeah. modern. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So one year is paper, it's your paper mm -hmm. anniversary, but it says now it's clocks. You mm -hmm. should get a clock gift. Back in the day, it was good enough to write a card. <laughs> okay, five years is wood, but now they say silverware. Mm -hmm. Ten, tin or aluminum, traditionally. Wood is not expensive now enough. diamond. Right, diamond, which used right. to be like 50 or something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. Actually. You know, we have the zodiac signs because, you know, who can remember all of those and their specific dates? And flowers. So, but that's probably the most important information in the book, really. The yeah, zodiac right. signs mm -hmm. have everything to do with all of You have of the this, flowers probably. for each month. Do you think you know a lot of the stuff in here already? Uh, so that you would not the specific numbers. I mean, I know the so general what's thing. Pi? Pardon? What's pi? Oh, 3.14159 uh, six, maybe? Oh, two six. Close. Two six. Two six, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's another topic you might know something about we could quiz you on? Oh now if you ask me Avogadro's number. Oh yes, Avogadro's number. Six point oh two three times Wait. ten to the twenty third. You're kidding. We did not plan this ahead of time. Wait, one more time? 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd. This is 6.022136 6, 7 times 10 to the 23rd. Mole to the negative first power. Yeah, I'm off at the, at the, at the fourth decimal place, I guess. But how would one even use Avogadro's constant? I'm just showing my ignorance, I know. If you want to know how many atoms there are in, in, a, in a mole, uh, are how many molecules there are in a mole of a substance? Um, and a mole, what's a mole? Molecular equivalent. A uh, molecular equivalent. So it, it's important. I love this. So maybe you need to know the specific gravity of feathers, specifically goose and duck. Well, it's 0 0.04. Well, if you're filling a pillow. Yeah. And the weight in pounds per cubic yard is 67.5. Of the feather? The weight of the feathers. Is, is Say that again. The weight in pounds per cubic yard of feathers, goose and duck, is 65 Per points. cubic yard? Yeah, 67.5 pounds. In case you had a cubic yard of feathers. Of feathers, then you yeah, needed to know yeah, how that much that was going to weigh. You know, I always have a, pu always? A, a, a cubic <laughs> yard of, uh, forgive my swearing there, um, a cubic yard of feathers, I always have that. Yeah. So it's, it's getting dark on us here. It is. We, we better wrap this video up. So let us know what you think about all this craziness in the comments. Um, would you like a book like this? Um, and if celebrate. you enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up. Helps this video spend. to reach more people. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Drogo. Uh, Drogo. <laughs>